Yeah, so I started my business in 2018 in the summer and I decided to start a company that gives value to waste. And the company is called Innovation. And one of our first products is Peekaboat beer, which is a beer that is made out of old bread or unsold bread very often. Well, because I think there are so many challenges in the world and you cannot focus on every one of them, but you need to choose a challenge that you're passionate about and then really engage and put effort in it to find solutions to the challenge. And for me, I've already my whole life been interested in waste and what we do with waste and how we produce waste and actually the whole supply chain of waste. So I felt this is like a perfect spot for me to go into and do something. And then when I realized how much bread we waste in the Netherlands, that was for me the first practical form of waste that I saw that I wanted to tackle and make a product of. Well, um, one of the biggest challenges is to keep on growing and to keep on increasing our impact especially because we're doing something a little less conventional by adding the bread to the beer. It sometimes makes it a bit harder to convince people to take up the bread as in a producing way, so breweries have a little bit of a harder time to say, okay, yes, I want to work with you, but it's a manageable challenge. It's just something you need to work on to create awareness that it's important that we start looking differently at waste, and it starts with looking differently at our production processes. At the same time, another challenge ahead is to live up to expectations people have and to keep on being successful as an entrepreneur and to make sure that the company is still running and alive in the next few years. To also encourage other female entrepreneurs, to encourage other people in general who want to go into the waste industry or who want to become an entrepreneur overall. I want to be able to show that it is possible to tackle maybe a little bit more of a new area and to make a successful enterprise. Well, the added value of these events for me is to share my story with other people, to share my mission, the idea that I have of giving waste value and how we should look differently at the world of entrepreneuring and doing business. At the same time, these events are very valuable for me because I get into contact with new people. And new people always have new knowledge, they have new experience, and they give me new ideas, they literally inspire me. So even though they think I'm inspiring them, they're actually inspiring me. So I enjoy it very much to come to these events where there is like a crossover of many different expertise and, and knowledge and to share my idea and then to gain from that myself. Yeah, so I decided to study uh, public policy and human development because I really want to learn what is happening in the world and I really want to be working with the challenges and also be working with the people who deal with these challenges on a daily basis, who inspire me to find solutions. And I didn't just want to do an ordinary entrepreneurship or a business master because I don't really see the added value of that in a sense that you are an entrepreneur if you want to be one. A master certificate of entrepreneurship is not going to make you an entrepreneur. For me, it's actually the other way around. I dream of being an entrepreneur, so I invest time to learn about it. But I need to get inspired by new ideas and to gain knowledge in the world to see where there are opportunities to start entrepreneurial prices or maybe even to help out other people to start enterprises.